Hello everyone and welcome. Today I will be playing Adam Robot World. This is basically a survival uh, type of city building game which um, is taking place in a world uh, dominated by artificial intelligence. Let's get going guys and uh, I'll begin here and we will go on with a story mode. Let's go with Lost City and let's see more about Adam the Robot World. If you are interested to uh, check out the game there is a link in the description which will take you on the Steam page where you can uh, actually purchase the game and play it yourself. Um, I would like to thank uh, the creator of this game for sponsoring this video. So um, can't wait to try it out. Okay, this Earth-like solid-state plant is called Hole. It used to be very busy. Past human spaceships stopped here to rest and then sailed to Earth for further space. In year two, 272 of Space Age, SA as it is shortened, the coalition government of human beings announced their irreparable natural disaster and humanitarian crisis on Hole ordered the evacuation of all mankind and the blockade of Hall. In um, Space Age 336, the blockade of Hall was lifted and it was classified as abandoned planet. Oh, okay. According to the Space Management Act, the waste generated by human spaceships should be set in abandoned planets and the authorized companies should place robots on the planets for recycling and reuse. In order to prevent superintelligence, the government has set up a justicial base in Hall. The robots in the base are responsible for detecting and eliminating all robots that generate self-awareness. Before entering space, human beings have a complex attitude towards robots. We need robots, but don't trust robots. There is a question that we have no answer to so far. When a robot can think like a human, should it be treated as a machine or like another human? Okay, and here we are, guys. We have a little guide when we start. WSD, system self-test. Power system intact, weapon system intact, memory partially activated. Environmental monitoring, whole planet information locked, unable to read. Robot number locked, unable to read. Robot name Adam. Adam has uh, been woken up, establishing a communication connection. Communication network decoding completed, connection established. Wake up successful, Adam, I need your help. Please identify yourself. I'm Bruno, a recycler set on hold by Space Odyssey Company. My struggle is Steel City. File retrieval. No information was found about Recycler or Space Odyssey Company. Please continue to identify yourself. This information is generated after you sleep, so you can't retrieve it. I will give you a brief description of the situation. This planet is called Hall, which is an abandoned planet. That is, a planet that has been abandoned by human beings due to exhaustion of resources. According to the Space Management Act, the abandoned planet is used as a human space waste station. At the same time, the act allows authorized companies to recycle resources on these planets. What Space Odyssey Company, or SOC, do is recycle resources in the garbage heap on Hall. The env environment of Hall is so bad that human beings can't live here. SOC has sent a group of industrial robots to establish recycling centers. I am one of them. The recycler has the right to find and wake up the original robots on hold and let them assist in resource recycling. After checking your basic performance is good, only part of the memory is damaged. So I wake up and ask you for help with SOC. You can view the authorization file I sent you. Document analyzing. Authorization is valid. Adam will help SOC. What can I do? Adam, your basic ability meets the requirement of SOC. I hope you can build a resource recycling area here. I will send buyer robots to collect your products. I bought a basic set of recycling devices. First of all, I hope you can build a construction waste station and free the construction waste into stone. The operation flow of the device has been sent to you. Document analyzing. Okay, let's do it. Okay, guys, so we have to build a construction waste station. So let's get going. We have the visuals on how to do it and we have to place in place it on waste resources. 
it even tells us how to how to place it we're going to place it like that it's getting built okay a construction waste station has been built the station can collect waste by itself without robot operation but it should be noted that the waste station needs to be connected with the main road of your stronghold of course you also need to keep the station as close to the construction waste resources as possible it's easy to understand isn't it if the station is not directly connected to the main road you need to build roads to connect it to the main road Remember, the waste station can only work if it is connected to the main road. Interesting. New building can be built. Roads. Main roads. Buildings are required to be connected with the main road if they are not. Yeah, it's basically what uh, Adam told us. Okay, the construction waste station can work now. It will continuously separate the construction waste materials from the waste resources. However, the recycling center of SOC will not pr purchase waste materials. Adam, the next thing you need to do is to process raw materials into products. According to the process I know, I should build a stone factory to deal with the construction waste. Yes, now build a stone factory. It can process construction waste materials into stone, which is what SOC needs. Two points. First, the stone factory should be close to the construction uh, way station as much as possible so that the robot can transport the raw materials faster. Second, the stone factory also needs to be connected with the main road, otherwise the robot cannot do the job. Oh, okay. We need to build a stone factory, guys. I'm gonna build it right here. I ain't gonna lie to you. The stone factory has been built, but it doesn't seem to work yet. You need to check what's wrong. Building the requirements. If the working conditions are not met, the exclamation mark will appear. It requires energy. Okay. Actually, yeah, we need um, something else. This building can't work. Check out the requirements. It seems that there is a lack of robot home. Material factories can work independently, but other factories need robots to transport materials. So before you start transporting materials, you need to build a robot home for yourself. The robot home is the place where the robot lives. Without the robot home, the robot can supplement power or, or work. Other important information about the building is also here. You can get familiar with it first, after that close the interface and I will tell you how to build a robot home. Each robot needs a robot home. After the house is built, the robot without a house will automatically find a house to live in. Robots only transport materials for factories that are no more than 50 meters away from their house. So don't build a house too far away from factories. Oh, okay guys. I'm gonna build a house right here. Well done, there is another function, uh, function you need to understand. Demolition of buildings. Sometimes if the building is built in the wrong place, it can only be demolished uh, just like when people find out they have uh, written the wrong code for a robot, they will delete it. The wrong building will reduce the efficiency of the recycling area. You should always um, check your building's layout and demolish uh, those buildings that are not in the right position. If you want, uh, if, if you want you or other robots in the future to change the workplace, you need to demolish the robot home in, uh, in use and build a new robot home in the new workplace so that the robot can complete the transfer of the workplace. Demolish function has been added to your build sequence and is now ready to use. Yeah, I don't need to use it. You've learned enough and now you can start recycling for soap. I hope you can make your stronghold a high yield recycling area. According to the construction sequence, I can only use electricity to build new buildings, but I can't build electricity production uh, facilities. Ha, huh, this is my negligence. I will send buyer robots to purchase the stone you produced and pay you electricity as compensation. You can use this power to expand the stronghold. The buyer robot will only buy up to 400 units of stone at one time. Now try to get 500 electricity by selling stones. It will. I'll teach you something else when you're done. I think you should build another stone factory now, which will help you finish the task faster. Hello, I'm a bio robot from Iron City. I hope to purchase 400 units of stone from you. As long as there is stock in your factory, I will go to purchase and pay for electricity by myself. 
transaction is uh, mutually beneficial, please build enough factories to ensure that a production one robot will be sent every half hour. Welcome. Oh, okay. This is our stronghold, and this is where miracle happens. They require me to build another stone factory. No, not stone factory. Construction waste. So if I place this one here, Actually, I can't. I don't have electricity, I think. Um, let's increase the speed, guys, so we can finish this task really fast. So they say they come every half hour to buy stone. Yeah, it works nice. I still miss something. Okay, Bruno, is your recycling center the, uh, the only one of the planet? I found a lot of signals in the communication network, but I couldn't decode them, and I couldn't connect with the sender of the sign signals. Sok has set up several recycling centers on whole, and Steel City, where I work, is just one of them. Each recycling center has its own name, which you can see on the world map. Now, I will send you the world map and the decoding method of the planet. Communication network, these are SOC specific codes, so you couldn't read them before. Now, try to open the world map. Oh, okay, guys, world map. So, this is Iron City, and this is pretty much it. Having opened the world map, I've seen some strongholds in my, in my current location. Each icon uh, on the map represents a stronghold. A stronghold. The yellow icon in the middle is your stronghold. The steel city above is my stronghold, and the white one is uh, other strongholds of Sock. You can click on the icon of the stronghold and then view the details on the right side of the interface. Now you can click on the white icon to learn about the stronghold. This stronghold and your stronghold have different needs. Is this normal? Sock assigns different tasks to each stronghold. And uh, my stronghold needs stone and other may need iron, oil or other resources. When you can produce the products needed by a stronghold, you can contact it and ask it to send bio robots to trade with you. They like, they like me, trade electricity for the products you produce. When you open the information interface of the stronghold, you can see the trade button to establish a trade relationship with it. Even if you can't produce the product they need, you can start to trade with them, but that may cause some problems, which I'll explain later. Now, you need to establish trade relationship with the stronghold. Please follow the method I just mentioned. Oh, okay. We need to establish a trade. Trade with City of Stronghold versus City. Stop trade energy cost 900. Confirm to stop trade. Yes. Well, you have established a new trade relationship. The stronghold that has a trade relationship with you will send you information about other strongholds, and you can see the details of them on the map. Confirm the discovery of new strongholds, and I uh, can establish trade relationships with them at any time. Yes, you can always establish trade relationship with a new stronghold when you need to. Once you do that, the stronghold will send bio robots like me to purchase the corresponding resources. On each new trade route, the bio robot will buy 100 units of products anytime. After calculation, uh, the trade volume of 100 units each time is too small to guarantee the operation of my stronghold. Yes, fortunately, we have a way to expand the scale of the trade. You can use electricity to invest in strongholds which can expand the scale of trade routes. Each investment can increase the volume of a single product demand by 100 units. Now you invest in the stronghold and the electricity you invest will return to you as the volume of trade increases. In mathematics, you don't lose energy. Okay, we need to open the invest. We pay uh, 1100 energy to upper the development level of this stronghold. An investment has been completed and the trading volume has increased to 200. Each stronghold has a maximum demand of 400 units for each product. 
When you increase the trade volume to 400 through investment and continue to invest, you can unlock the trade of the next product. Each stronghold is recycling multiple products. You should decide your investment plan based on the amount of electricity you have in stock. After analysis, my stronghold is unable to produce other effective products except stone. The system prompts that the stronghold should be expanded and the ex uh, extension authority should be unlocked. Well, by analyzing the world map, you can understand what products your, uh, your trading partner needs and you can produce those products. Now turn off the map and I will help you get more buildings right soon. Oh, okay. Whispers to himself. Bowman, I hope you're right. This is our first chance to 64 years, or maybe our last chance. Unable to understand the voice signal's content, no more building permissions have been unlocked. Don't worry, I'm just checking that some of the old pieces in my memory circuit are correct. Adam, once upon a time I had a good friend of mankind whose name was Bowman. He had a gift to you, that is to unlock your memory. Unlock memory components, hardware check passed, unable to unlock all the contents, the system prompts that the evaluation level of some content is harmful. Don't worry, sometimes the system makes mistakes. I will help you unlock all the contents of this memory slowly. Let's start with a new recycling plant. There are many sock, wake up robots and hall, but they can only recycle one specific resource. Adam, your memory is different, which means you can do things that other robots can't. For our robots, memory liquid is very important resource. Every robot has to rely on it to maintain the memory module and prevent the memory content from being damaged by cosmic rays. Memory liquid is more important to you, consuming a certain amount of memory liquid can help you to unlock the information in the new memory module and gain new capabilities. In other words, you can learn new construction technologies as well as many other new technologies. This is your advantage and the reason why you can handle a particular crisis. Crisis. Unable to unlock the corresponding concept, the information is corrupted. It doesn't matter, the crisis is not coming yet. Now open your memory. We need to activate Iron Factory in the memory. Okay, here's the memory. And you can use uh, memory to unlock new technologies, which fold into four categories. Now, you just need to pay attention on the building tech. Do you remember what kind of products were needed for the stronghold that just established trade relationship? They need iron. Yes, you need to activate the Iron Factory technology. After activating, new way stations uh, and corresponding factories will be added to your building sequence. Memory liquids are so valuable that you can only use them to activate the most important technology. Don't waste them. Okay. So let's activate the Iron Factory. So basically, I get access to Iron Factory and Metal Waste. Now you need to build a metal waste station where there is a lot of metal waste and then build an iron factory nearby. Remember, these factories need to be connected to the road. And then a house. Yes, I know. Okay guys, a metal waste station. Which one is metal? Chemical waste? Biological waste? Construction waste? Metal waste. Okay, this is where we need to do. Uh, or no. This could work as well. Okay, iron factory. And of course, a house. And of course, of course, the road. Adam, you can understand the word lonely. According to the dictionary, lonely is a metal state owned mental state owned by human beings, also known as emotion. Uh, after analysis, I can't understand the connection between this problem and my work. Never mind, it's just a matter of my old friend Bowman. Staying in my program, according to his calculations, the problem is too complicated for you, uh, you now. Now let's continue to work. You can already produce stone and iron at the same time. You should have noticed that your factory can't run at a, at a full capacity now. After data analysis, I think my stronghold needs more labor to meet the trade demand of the two recycling centers. 
Sork has found many abandoned robots on hold and every recycling center is busy repairing them. This robot is my work, its intelligence is low, it can complete basic work without any problem, but it can't communicate like you and me. It is yours now, it's connected to the lowest level communication network. Now you can recruit it through the recruitment system. Okay, Reaper A will serve for you anytime. You can recruit me by robot recruit system. Okay, robot recruit and we're gonna pay for him. A communication connection has been confirmed. New robots join the stronghold. Thank you for your help. According to the information you left, I need to build a robot home for him. It's already done. Yes, every robot needs its own robot home. When you have enough electricity in your stronghold, the recycling centers will send very their repair robots to help you continue expand production. Most of these robots can only communicate with each other simply. Highly intelligent robots like you are rare. At a time, you can recruit these robots. Blah, blah. Adam, your task is to observe the working state of robots and get 2,500 units of electricity for your stronghold through trade. When you finish, I will lock new content for you. Okay. Okay, this is our new robot, Repair A. And, and guys, there needs to be work done. Okay, here's the robot A, and he's gonna work. Guys, do you notice something? This guy is working, Adam is working at two factories. I think I could use, I could use another stone factory. And another iron factory. What do you say? Adam, you can remember something about what happened here before we f you fell asleep? After checking, the system cannot read any memory content before today, indicating that all content is damaged. It seems that the memory liquid is still too few. Don't worry, we have enough time. When I woke up, when I woke you up, you had a very powerful computing ability. Even after 64 years, you still have more computing power than most of the robots now. I'll send you the content about balancing production and improving efficiency. Now you can analyze the production process of this stronghold to improve. After observation, I learned that the robot will serve in all, in all the buildings it can reach. By shortening the time spent by robots walking between buildings and walking uh, to the robot home, the efficiency of them can be improved. Very nice! You can make the robot walk as short as possible by planning the building distribution and building roads. If you are not satisfied with the existing buildings and roads, you can demolish them and rebuild them. In addition, you have noticed uh, the reserve uh, of the factory. Yes. What? Oh, yeah. So basically, the purple thing is uh, the output that has been produced. And the blue thing is the output that can be produced. Through the analyze analysis of the data, I know that all factories have a shortage limit. A storage limit, sorry. When the factory reaches the storage limit, it cannot recover more resources or produce more products. Yes, if the storage of the factory are in the upper limit of, uh, for a long time, it means that you need to start new trade relationship or invest in strongholds. By doing so, you can increase uh, the volume of trade, thus improving the efficiency of the use of resources and raw materials. On the contrary, if you find that the factory is often empty, it means that your robot has insufficient transportation capacity and is a little busy. If robots stay at home all the time and factories are working uh, at full capacity, it means that more factories need to be built. According to the calculation, when the factory is empty, I should recruit more available industrial robots to expand production. Good, but there is another thing you need to pay attention to. Every factory and every robot consumes electricity for main maintenance each hour. You can't expand production blindly. You should pay attention to the balance of income and cost. Everything about balancing production and improving efficiency has been sent to you. You can check the guide manual at any time. Some of the contestants have been told to you before. Uh, some will be used later and you can check it when you need it. 
Oh, okay, we have the guides on the bottom of the screen. What's more, you should manage the production dynamically to make your stronghold prosperous. In this way, you can deal with the next trouble. Trouble, according to their search, this is a dangerous world. Yes, yes, there is. there are not only production and trade, but also many dangers. In any case, your first task is to seize the production and obtain more electricity reserves through trade. Only by storing enough electricity can you be safe in the next trouble. So this is the guy, guys. Okay, so for now I think I'm gonna stop here. Actually, guys, there is a little battle. I think we're gonna do that before we, we end the video. Your production is so high that it completely exceeds my expectation at the beginning. According to the principle of balance and efficiency, I adjusted some production plans. You are the outstanding achievement of whole. Now let's talk about trouble, or use another word I mentioned earlier, crisis. Within the scope of government regulation, the official name of the trouble is uh, the Robot and Artificial Intelligence Control Act. RICA 272 for short. The system indicates that RICA is, is an act formulated by the coalition government to protect the interests of all mankind. In the specific content cannot be viewed. Your authority is not enough. I'll give you an oral explanation. Don't make formal system records for these contents, so as not to cause trouble to you. In uh, SA 272, the coalition government passed the act. The purpose of the act is to supervise and manage all robots and artificial intelligence that may evolve into super intelligence due to design system vulnerabilities or other reasons. On the abandoned planet like Hull, all the work is done by robots. Therefore, it is very important to supervise the implementation of RICA 272 act in order to prevent the emergence um, of individuals who pose a threat to human beings in the in these robots. The coalition government designed the Juschikar robot to oversee the legislation on the abandoned planet. They have the right to wipe out any robot found guilty of violating Rika 272. When the Juschikar find a potential threat, they will give priority to eliminating the threat individuals but when they judge that the threat is uncontrollable, they will conduct back to zero operation used to specially modulate a strong magnetic storm to reset the memory of all the robots and destroy uh, all the stronghold buildings. In theory, the back to zero operation will make all the robots return to, the initial, to their initial state, which can completely eliminate the super intelligent trait. Guys, I kind of feel like there is a uh, plot in here. There is a story with a, a very circular type of events. I think Adam is actually a robot which does not have full memory, full recollection of what happened in the past. And that, that's why he's pretty much repeating the past, meaning he's getting really powerful. However, the operation will consume a lot of power and also seriously affects uh, the progress of the work on whole, so it will only be used as the final means. It is strange that according to the backup log of the recovery center in the last 60 days, the Justiciar has initiated three back to zero operations. Considering that the operation needs a 20 day preparation period, the Justicicar is actually carrying out the consecutive operations. This is illogical according to you, back to zero is the last resort and this high threat superintelligence is unlikely to happen so often. You are right, and the recycling center's log don't record super smart threat warnings from Justicar, and SOC monitoring systems doesn't find any violation of the law by our own robots. Adam, recording to your logical calculation, what is your analysis of this situation? According to the new information you just provided, SOC is a large company trusted by the coalition government and has the right to develop and manufacture robots uh, by itself and accept the highest level of supervision of the coalition government committee. If there is no problem with SOC, then logically there must be something wrong with the Justicar on whole. They may have violated Rika 272 themselves, so they will start attacking other robots. Your point of view is uh, the same as my conclusion, however SOC as a company under the control of the government cannot directly confront the actions of the Justicar. Now only you can help most of the robots on whole solve the problem. You wake up on uh, behalf of SOC, why can't I take action against the Justicar? 
According to the instruction of SOC, I have the authority to take actions to protect the rights and interests of SOC within the legal scope. So uh, when I woke wake you up, I did not register your information with the government at the first time. How is so remote that the government will not notice that in a short time? I need you to build a defense system here to resist the attack of the Justicar. After you get through the initial troubles, let's discuss how to solve the crisis related to the Justicar. If the Justicar come to clean up my stronghold, do I have a way to counter their attacks? Yes, the stronghold is small and unregistered. In order to save resources, the Justicar may only send one robot to launch exploratory attacks on you. As long as you can eliminate it, you can get through the initial crisis. Okay, an army from Justicar base will come into our stronghold by southwest in 60 minutes. We must prepare now. Okay guys, southwest, southwest. We need to build a tower. Where is the tower? Okay, this is the Justicar, car and he's gonna attack me. Military tech, iron arm, industrial, iron lead. Um, I do not see the military tower. Sadly. So therefore I cannot, cannot build it guys. Okay, Adam, watch out for the radar warning. The Juicy Card tentative attack is coming. The primary goal is, is of the Juicy Card to destroy the command center. And you have to defeat them all before the enemy destroys the command center. Why is the Juicy Card exploratory attack came to the command center? Once the command center of the stronghold is destroyed, you will lose a lot of electricity. This will seriously affect the operation of the stronghold. Although you can rebuild the command center, such a, a huge loss will make it hard for you to resist the Justicar when they launch the final attack. Adam, you have to try to repel every attack of the enemy. You need to issue battle commands at the right time and then lead your robot to meet the enemy. Your robot will still work as usual until you give the battle command. Try to choose the time, don't be impatient and don't let the enemy get too close. Battle command includes assemble and attack. The assembly command will make all the robots concentrate in the command center and the full and uh, fully charged. And the attack command will make all the robots attack the enemy. Now give the order to attack and defend your stronghold. Okay. It looks like they are attacking, and I won. Okay guys, and we're gonna stop here with the video. Thank you very much for watching. As I said, if you wish to find out more Adam the Robot World, check out the link in the description. And many thanks um, for watching. Make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button. Thank you guys, bye.